why are women more vulnerable? You can you know, think about it as biological factors, but women also tend to take a lot more responsibility and tend, especially for family members, for people who they love, and tend to take, um, you know, feel more stressed out when things are not working in families. Women are also more likely to be traumatized. I mean, if you pick up any newspaper, it's a little shocking to hear the cases of rape and abuse and violence that still happens against women. So for a lot of reasons, women tend to be more vulnerable to depression. And if you look at the psychological factors, and this is also the area where it really overlaps with Buddhism, you know, when we talk about schemas, schemas are just simply cognitive maps. And as we go through life, we form these cognitive maps that is based on our early experiences that tends to come up during times of stress. You know, they say we all have it's like we forget that we are the director of our own life, our own life script, you know. Nobody else is actually directing. Of course, many factors influence us. So it's interesting to then look at the thoughts that come up, especially in a stressful situation. And this is where cognitive behavior psychology has played a very important role. So a situation occurs, like for example, you get criticized at work. And so what is the immediate thought that tends to come up? Very often for people who get depressed, it's not uncommon. The immediate thought is a negative thought, I'm not good enough. But then that also tends to get exaggerated. I'm not good enough, you know, um, uh, uh, and tend to be very critical and harsh on oneself. And so then the resulting emotion is feeling worthless or anxious. And the behavior then tends to be to avoid contact with others. The physical reaction, so then you feel lethargic. And then that feeds for oh, there, I'm not good enough. And it repeats, it becomes a cyclic pattern, which then leads to a sense of chronic stress. So this is where clearly you have Buddhism and psych, uh, sex therapy where it can overlap, because thinking is also what Buddhists emphasize. You have to look at your attitude. You have to look at the kind of thoughts that you're thinking because your thoughts become your reality. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time since I've been told I'm uh, out of, going to be out of time shortly. But if you look at the, uh, these brains, I just like the pictures. If you look at the lower two brains, that is the, uh, the depressed brains. So it's, it's very fascinating that now we have the technology in order to be able to record people who are considered normal versus people of other groups. And to see what are the differences that occur or show up in different areas of the brain. So in the lower two, you notice the greater orange areas, which shows they talk about this dorsal network, which interestingly they find connects these areas. We just talked about the symptoms of depression as being cognitive, affective, and interpersonal. And interestingly, it's those areas of the brain that seem to be connected in this dorsal network. So the idea is, is for treatment, if we intervene there, if there's a way to cut that network, then it's likely to reduce, if you will, the kind of depressed symptoms that one could feel. So that's just a quick overview. So I've spent a lot of time on the first two, but I want to make sure you understand Buddhism is not pessimistic. There is a way out. Why? First, you have to understand Buddhism is the one who believes that complete cessation is possible. Now, why? On what basis? It's not just a statement that is made out there. Because the fundamental nature of our mind is clear and knowing. Which means the afflictions that we have, that we just talked about, are not really in the nature of the mind. They are what are called adventitious. They can be taken out. You know, it's like the nature of water. The nature of water is pure. I mean, that is the good news about even the Ganges, how dirty, however dirty it is. If we put the energy, if you will, on cleaning up, then it is possible because the nature of water, like the nature of mind,